Sagittal synostosis is a situation where the parietal bones of the skull are fused too early. So as you see here on the skull model, uh, you have two parietal bones, which is separated by a sagittal suture. The suture line should look like this, where there's a gap between the bones, between the parietal bone and the occipital bone. On this model, this child has sagittal synostosis, where the parietal bones are fused together too early. And what that causes is a ridge down the middle of your skull. It also usually causes your skull to be a lot longer and narrower than normal. As a result of that, children will have what we call frontal bossing, where their forehead becomes very accentuated. You can also get what we call an occipital shelf, where the occiput, the back part of your skull, is far out uh, from normal. So a lot of babies uh, who are born have sagittal synostosis in utero. And so from the moment they're born, their skull shape looks a little bit abnormal. Typically, for kids with significant sagittal synostosis, we recommend an operation. Typically, there are different ways to do these operations. The two primary questions are whether you want to do an open operation or endoscopic operation. Here at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, we prefer an open operation. What that entails really is to um, remove the frontal bone, and remove the parietal bone uh, and then reshape the skull such that it's shorter and more round. When they are initially born, we can tell that they have this diagnosis. And so we typically prefer to do this operation at around four to six months of age. I think children do the best at around that time in terms of their cosmetic appearance and their tolerance for surgery. The recovery from the operation usually takes about two to three days in the hospital. Because of the, the work up front, you know, children usually on post-operative day number one will have a lot of swelling in their eyes. And though that's scary to the parents, it, it really doesn't affect the child at all. That swelling goes down in about two or three days such that they're able to open their eyes again. Once the child's eyes are open, it honestly is like nothing has ever happened to the baby. They're still sitting up, they're still you know, trying to drink their bottles and things like that, and their pain really is controlled well. Parents are, are uh, relatively surprised, I think, by how quickly their child recovers from, from these type of operations. And though they are a you know, big operation for anyone, and specifically for, for a young baby, children tolerate the operation very well.